Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, all 30 of you and I am grateful to every single one of you. I want to ask a favour of anybody who watches any of my videos, could you please, if you like the video, could you please like, if you like what I've put up so far, could you please subscribe? It doesn't cost you anything and it just helps me to grow my channel. That's it. Thank you. And I'm going to say thank you in advance. Tomorrow is the full moon and I will be doing a special ceremony ritual for all of my 30 subscribers. Part of that ceremony will be some Reiki being sent to anybody who wishes to receive it. If you wish to receive Reiki from me through distance, just comment me in the comments please and I will send it to you at a time when you are ready to receive. If you watched yesterday's video, you will know that at the very end of that video, I had this um, epiphany, if you like, that it was time to do some spring cleaning. And then it dawned on me at some point this morning, we're now at um, about half past two on Thursday afternoon. It dawned on me that we are going into a new moon, uh, sorry, a full moon in Virgo tomorrow. So this is a new, uh, I keep saying new moon. This is a full moon reading for tomorrow night, Friday, the 18th of March, 2022. There is a need to do some spring cleaning. Dust off the cobwebs, open the curtains, throw the windows open, tidy up those cupboards that you've got that are full of shit that you have been meaning to take to the to the tip or put in the rubbish or tidy up or put into some semblance of order. We need to be more orderly for this new moon or for the three days following the full moon and I keep saying new moon and there might be something in it I don't know if something comes up it'll come out of my mouth at some point it might not be today <clears throat> new moons are about new beginnings but full moons are about letting things go so either you have some physical spring cleaning to do or you need to clean up your act maybe there is a habit that you are being pushed to drop and you're getting your mindset in the right place maybe it's a way of thinking maybe you're changing your mind about something or maybe you have decided to end some sort of relationship, whether it's an intimate relationship, a friendship, or some sort of job type situation. Maybe you've dropped a client or thinking of dropping a client. Or maybe you're thinking of dro dropping a particular business that you might use. Right, do not be afraid to end it. There is need to clear out the clutter. It is time for spring cleaning. And even though we might all have different ways and different things that we know we need to clear out, it is really time to do it. And the full moon is the best time to start as you mean to go on. Chuck out the old shit, whether that's physical rubbish or stuff that you've got in your house. Those drawers full of letters from 1967, you don't need them anymore, but you just haven't thrown them out. It's time to chuck it out. Have a bit of a burning. I'm feeling a bit of a burning going on. I'm part of my full moon um, ritual is that I do write down the things that I want to release and then I burn it. 
but I'm feeling a bigger burn coming on. Anyway, first up, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And I've shown it you upside down. Ace of Pentacles. A new, it's an offer. It's a new, it's a new start. But one that is very much tied to security and stability and wealth and abundance and everything else. Um, there are some new shoots about to be showing themselves. But if you don't clear out the weeds, you don't see the new shoots. And if you're not careful, you'll pull the new shoots with the weeds. And maybe that doesn't make sense. Maybe it doesn't. Um, but, you know, there is there's a need. There is a need to clear out the clutter. What's this one? And then we have the world. This is about completions. Full moons are about completions. The moon has completed its cycle. It is a full moon. We will go to a new moon, I believe, on April Fool's Day. Uh -huh. This full moon is in Virgo. So it's about patience. It's about kindness. It's about a little bit of perfectionist, maybe. But it's also about cleanliness. Maybe some of your thoughts have been a little bit dark. It's time to scrub your mind a bit and try to think of um try to think in an, in a in a new way, a more optimistic way. You've come full circle, you've completed this aspect of your journey, and it's time to clear out the clutter to make way for this new stability that is coming in. And then this other card. And we've got the Ace of Cups again. We've got two Aces. I mean, this is a really good reading. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, new stability. Ace of Cups, new love, new joy coming in. And we need to clear out the crap. Maybe it is a burning. I am feeling a burning being needed. Maybe you've got stuff that's just cluttering up a certain dark spot in your house and the only way to get rid of it would just 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 be to burn it we're coming into spring it's time to spring clean your life as well as your physical surroundings so for this full moon oh, wrong, wrong cards for this full moon we are being called to clear out the clutter and make way for the new and the new that is coming in is new shoots new seeds new avenues for abundance new starts if you have some sort of addictions or some sort of dietary habits that you've got yourself into that isn't making you feel good about yourself and in the back of your mind you know you need to change it tomorrow night would be a very good night to change it so if you're going to have that takeaway have it tonight and then purge then clear it up um, I'm thinking detox Spiritual detox, mental de detox, physical detox, and also detox your house. Get rid of the bad energies, get some sage around it. Sage it like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a wisdom of the oracle. I am rushing, rushing, rushing today. Um... This is, I had to do this because this has been bugging me. Since I woke up this morning, it's like this spring clean thing. And then I let it go, the spring clean thing. And then this morning, I haven't watched the video back, but I know I said something about spring cleaning. It's been this, um, it's been, um, it's been there niggling at me since I, 
since he woke up. We've had this card a lot. Change a change in the wind. Number twelve. We're on about. We're, we're still doing threes. So, right, we're still doing threes. Threes are about cooperation, collaboration, working together, working with something rather than working against something. If you want good energies in your house, you have to work with the energies and clear out the old shit. If you want good energies in your body, you have to work out the old energies, the old stuck energies and clear out that shit. If you want a good mindset, you need to be able to clear out the, the, you know, the dark thoughts, the, the, the thoughts, the addictions, the things that don't do you any good and clear that out, clear that shit out. It is about change. Change for the better. Let's have a look at number 12. Three. I keep wanting to go to three. This, this um, three thing. Um, we're, we're on a theme. We're on a roll from the other day. These, these um, readings so far just seem to sort of follow on from the one before. So whenever, whenever you read, whenever you watch this um, this video within the next three days, it will still be relevant because we're under the influence of the full moon for about three days. If you feel upset for a, for a while, um, it it might be hormones. It might be. It might be that you're having a shit time at home. It might be, but it also might be the energy of the full moon. It's quite painful to let go of some things, even though you want to sometimes. So, fork in the road. No, not fork in the road. I'm looking at number 13. There is something in this, but I don't have time to go into it. 12, a change in the wind. Beg your pardon, everybody. This is a sense that unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. A feeling, a shift. Uncertainty, uncertainty about which direction the winds blow. It is human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. Want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes, yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer con conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. Right. So, clear out the shit in your life, in your mind, in your body. Whatever changes you need to make, get them made. Um, might feel like a little bit painful. Might be a little bit painful. But change is about to happen. And at the end of all that pain will be something worthwhile hanging on to. New stars, new seeds, new joy, new love. So let's have a wisdom, and uh, not wisdom, a postcard from Spirit to finish it off. And I'm doing 14 minutes and nine, folks. I'm not doing bad at all. Someone told me that I talk too much at the beginning of my videos. That I talk too much and I don't flip enough cards. Uh, maybe that's right. And maybe that's why people don't subscribe because they might just click on and think, oh, she's going to go on for a time. It is my style. Um, it, it is my style um, if you don't have the patience for that I understand that um, but I'm not going to change my style because it won't feel natural to me and after yesterday's video 
authenticity being authentic showing up who you as who you really are is important so by changing the way I am and the way I deliver my readings to gain more subscribers or to try and get more likes is not my style and telling um, people what they want to hear just because they want to hear it is also not my style. Um, yes, I would love to have lots and lots of subscribers on YouTube. I'd love to be more visible. However, um, it's not a compromise for me. Um, no, come on. No, not that one. Keep going. One sort of went out sideways and I thought that was the one I was taking. But clearly not, not today. There we go. And we have... <sighs> Dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this. For you though, on your human journey, things can get disorganised in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter. Oh wow. Thank you. Whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind. Clean your house and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Discern what you have. Sort, purge, clear and organise. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Make room for something new. Get rid of the crap. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organisation in order to keep your connection to us and spirit free of distractions. So that, my friends, is your new moon message. Get your marigolds on. Get scrubbing out those nooks and crannies. All that stuff you've had since 190 blob that you never, you haven't seen, you've forgotten you've even had. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Clear out your mind. Clear out your soul. Clear out your body with a good detox. Write down what you want to let go of. At this full moon, take it outside, burn it. And if you have crystals, get them under moonlight. Um, but not selenite, because if it rains, it will dissolve. Top tip. I learned that one at my cost several years ago. So we are on 18 minutes 46. Come on, come on, Lou Below, you did it before 20 minutes. So take care. I will be doing a, um, a ceremony, a ritual for all of my subscribers. Along with that is Reiki. If you want Reiki, just put it in the comments in the box. And please consider liking, sharing and subscribing if you don't already do so. And if not, if this is where we part, take care and be kind. Ta-ra!